All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another quick post-fight discussion video. All right, y'all, I'm going to be quick with this one. Just want to give y'all my thoughts because some of y'all asked what I thought of this fight between uh, Tabitha Ricci and Poliana Viana. Well, it wasn't in a very eventful fight. It definitely wasn't as far as the Nama Yunus 2, but it wasn't a very uh, action-packed fight. Like, to me, neither fighter really showed urgency in this one. You know, I thought they both had good tools, you know, going into this fight. They both have good reputations, so... I thought if you put these two fighters together, you would get a finish, you know, or some type of um, action-packed fight, something competitive, right? But it wasn't very competitive to me because I thought Viana, she wasn't really fighting with urgency or using her strengths. Um, Tabitha Ricci, you know, she had a lot to offer and she was doing more of the work here. But to me, even she didn't really go in there and like uh, show what she could do for real. Like I thought overall she was the physically stronger fighter going into this one. and She's been working on the striking. So... I thought, you know, she would have been setting up some more, you know, overhand rights or, you know, going in there and pressing Viana and really bullying her. But every time she would get these takedowns, she would just stand back up. You know, she would just stand back up and uh, Viana would just lay on her back. So the fighters are to blame here, but the ref, he's really to blame, too, because he let this happen three rounds. Just let Viana lay on her back, you know, um, and look for these little knee kicks. And Rishi showed no interest in diving back in, at least like Sam Hughes in her fight. When Elise Reed was laying there, you know, she did dive back in and try to get some work in. But Ricci, she just let it reset. And then they would kind of go back to, you know, square one. They go right back to doing the same thing. You know, Viana lands a few strikes. Ricci closes the distance, takes it down, gets back up, kneecap, kneecap, knee kick, knee kick, then reset, right? So I, I didn't really think either fighter was really fighting with the urgency that they could have shown. So to me, this is a... Uh, yeah, I have to agree with some people. This is definitely what kind of makes WMMA boring sometimes, you know, whenever fighters aren't really fighting with urgency. That's why I say, like, this here, you could say that. That's a good example. But with Sam Hughes and Elise Reed, that was a good performance for her. You have to give her credit on that. You know, I definitely got to go back and say, look, you got to give credit on somebody that's going in and making a statement and looking to win. But this one here, yeah, Tabitha Ricci wanted to win, but she didn't go in there and dominate like I thought she could have, right? And even Viana, like I said, she had the reach, the height. She didn't really use her striking in this fight. I mean, if you look back at the first round, Viana was pumping out some nice strikes, but she never really used her footwork. So Ricci would just go in, take her down. You know, she closed in, take her down, but then she let her, then she just let her off the hook. She popped back up, and uh, Viana was just laying on her back, landing these little knee kicks here and there. And it would go on for like 20, 30 seconds, to my opinion. It felt like it was longer. But you know, the ref, he would not just stand her up and let it go back and reset then in the second round the same thing you know viano's on her feet looking a little bit better but um still not getting her uh richie's respect so viano just pushes her way in gets another top gets another takedown gets top position again and like i said she appeared to be the stronger fighter but it was less like their jujitsu was canceling each other out like they didn't want to take the chance like going into this fight poliana viano like i was talking about the night you know she has a majority i think all of her all of her fights are finishes, right? So I can understand why Ricci wanted to show respect there, but to me, Ricci was looking better. You know, Ricci was looking better, and Bianca didn't look that good on her back. So to me, I thought she should have taken more chances, started mauling and using her wrestling here, and, you know, looked to land big shots on Bianca to finish this thing. Because I think both, either of these fighters could have looked for a finish the way they were stepping in with these openers. And then third round, I mean, Ricci blasted in right away a lot quicker, but Bianca, she did start defending the takedowns well here. So with Viana being longer, I thought if she defend these takedowns and look for counters, she could get some work in. But she was fighting too flat-footed. Fighting too flat-footed, just staying right in front of Ricci. So Ricci had no problem blasting in, taking her down again. Viana still on her back, just chilling, waiting. And so I'm like, come on, ref, stand him up. And I was just like, come on, ref, stand him up. Now, you know, stop doing this because we, we, no, we ain't getting anywhere with these, little, with these little knee kicks or them just standing there just posing, looking at each other, right? So finally, you know, he stands it back up and, you know, they just kind of go through the motion. So, yeah, that was my thoughts on the fight. Like, it wasn't like the worst fight. It wasn't like the most boring fight, you know, like a lot of people make it out to be. You know, I've definitely seen worse, but it definitely wasn't something I wanted to see from somebody coming back after a year layoff in Viana and somebody that I think has a lot of potential in, in uh, Tabitha Ricci. So definitely neither fighter really showed like a lot of explosion, urgency in this fight. Ricci, who has good jujitsu and was getting good takedowns, wasn't really doing much, in my opinion, from what I can, uh, you know, um, gauge her at and what I because what I see in her. 
Um, Mackenzie Dern, somebody that doesn't really have takedowns, very good on the ground, you know, jiu-jitsu practitioner. She's actually trying to get you down. Like, that's why I say Mackenzie Dern, she's never really been in a bad fight. She's an exciting fighter, you know, compared to some fighters. So, you know, here we have Tabitha Reach who can get takedowns. You know, she's not pulling out some of the th same things like Mackenzie Dern now. I know Mackenzie Dern, they're different fighters, but somebody this young and this strong, they need to go in there and be making a big statement, right? So in my opinion, I think both of these fighters, they still got to work on the unranked levels. It could be whoever, Kanaka Murata, whenever she comes back, when her army is healed up, haven't heard from her in a minute, she's still out there. You know, Velismas is out there. I'm not sure if she has a fight. You know, Sam Hughes now is, you know, on a two fight win streak. So one of these fights might be good for her. Right. But that definitely wasn't a good showing, like big statement for either fighter, you know, that, but that's just me. Let me know what y'all think, guys. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.